The execution of the witches took place fairly soon afterwards. A hanging in those days was a public event. This was a cause celeb. Many people would have gone the mile walk out of Exeter to Heavytree to witness the execution. We have quite a good account. It's hard to tell how much of the account is a story, how much is what people's expectations were. But they were taken from here, from the, the jail. They luckily, well, unluckily, they hadn't died of jail fever yet and were executed publicly. Their confessions are allegedly recorded once again. The clergyman at the execution, Mr. Han, asked them questions, asked them to confess. And we have an account that um, I think it was Mary Trembles asked for God's forgiveness and recited one of the Psalms. That may be true, it may be the expectation of what people did. If you look at the plaque here, you know, the Devon witches the last people in England to be executed for witchcraft. This is true. There may have been, but it's the last one that we know of for certain. Because this particular trial is so well recorded and the statements survive, we know about this trial. Witchcraft accusations went on for a long time. There may have been, but we are certain that here, these three women from Biddeford met their end at Heavy Tree. The name, by the way, of course, suggests the place of the gallows for Heavy Tree. And the, mo the site is still there and remembered. So the final line, in the hope of an end to persecution and intolerance. And that was the story of the Biddeford witches who were victims of a particular events in society, who were caught up in a, a political drama as well of a national scale and were the unfortunate victims of persecution and intolerance.